Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and today I am going to be answering the million dollar question regarding OMC2, how to reduce lag on one of the worst optimized games in the, on the market. So basically, if you've played OMC2 you know that you have experiences such as jumping bosses, freezing, lag, l low FPS, that sort of thing, and today I am going to be showing you how you can fix this or more precisely how you can minimize this because unfortunately OMC2 is so badly optimized that even on the highest NPCs lag is still inevitable at some at some stage but nonetheless so what you want to do is you want to go into your options fairly self-explanatory and I'm just going to show you a golden rule first of all so basically for those of you who are just going to tune out in the next two or three seconds just make sure you follow the golden rule so basically with the settings in OMC2 the more you go to the right the more you increase lag and the more you decrease FPS and the more you increase the demand uh, that is strained onto your PC and the more you move to the left of each setting bar, so the more you slide the setting bars to the left, the less lag you, you create. So basically you're reducing lag, you are reducing the likelihood of a, a jumping boss which is caused by low FPS and you are increasing FPS. So basically you move left if you want to uh, reduce lag and you move right if you want to increase kind of uh, gameplay, bearing in mind that comes at a lag cost. Now, that's the golden rule, but I will go uh, through this in more detail. But for those of you who have tuned out, I hope you at least remember that. So first of all, your target frame rate. So this basically is uh, what you want OMC2 to stay around. Generally, 30 FPS is decent for OMC2. You don't really need higher FPS. I know some people are a bit obsessed with FPS. You can try push this up, but realistically, in around 30 FPS is kind of what you expect with OMC2. Neighbor trial counts. Uh, Bear in mind that OMC2 is very slow at loading in stuff, even on the SSD, it's it's ridiculously slow compared to other games. So if you bump this up, you're basically just going to increase your loading time. So if you want to keep your loading times low, just keep this to 1. Keeping the, bringing this up to 2 or 3 is just going to increase your loading times and it's going to increase freezing. So I would recommend keeping this to 1. Sun glow effect, you can have this on or off, doesn't make a huge difference apart from the fact it's extremely irritating. Map object complexity. If you are having issues with jumping bosses, if you are having issues with lag, you want to turn this straight down. So you want to turn this to the left. And uh, the more you go to the left, the less lag and the less FPS drops you will encounter. Uh, but bear in mind, obviously, that you're going to have less objects on the map. So to be honest, uh, if you're on a lower NPC or you have issues with FPS, I would keep this on 1 or 2. Definitely not 3. So basically, this is something you definitely want to lower down if you're having issues with FPS. Map or object visibility distance. This again basically just determines how far uh, objects in the game will be visible. You want to turn this down if you're having issues. And then if you want to see, basically if you kind of see like, uh, sometimes you'll notice on 2 you see flat horizon. So basically you'll see nothing is just an invisible tile. That's because this is set to low. So if you, you can increase this if you want to see it more in the distance. So this is basically your depth of field. But bear in mind, the more you increase this, the lagger it will get. Main object screen size, this I don't think makes too huge of a difference. Uh, then this is for reflections. Basically, reflections in OMC2 cause a lot of lag, and I mean a lot of lag. So reflections, you basically want, reflections are important obviously when you're driving a bus in uh, OMC2, and obviously they are important, but again, you want to keep them to the bare minimum. So again, if you're having issues, turn this down. Uh, obviously, the, the most effective way to stop lag in OMC2 is just to turn off reflections. However, obviously, that destroys the uh, gaming experience so you want to keep this on economy even if you're on a high-end pc you don't want this on full because it's just going to cause uh unnecessary uh fps drops and additional lag so keep this to economy the, the difference there isn't really much of a difference but uh in terms of actual like uh an actual increased uh playability or increased you know uh enjoyability from the game it's pretty much the same only difference is full is lagger and again bring this to the left if you're having uh issues with lag Particle system, you want to keep this active. If you don't keep this active, it's going to basically uh, it's going to break the game. Yep, obviously, two does that by itself. Map complexity, again, if you have issues with lag and you have issues with loading times, especially if you have lots of freezing and your CPU is being overloaded, you want to bring this down to the left. Uh, so, uh, generally, I'd say 1 if you're on a lower end PC and then 0 if you're having real issues. So, again, pretty much make sure if you're having issues with FPS and the bus jumping that these two settings are lowered because these two will impact your PC performance. Obviously, it's very bad optimizing the CPU. Now, for graphics. Now, for graphics, what you want to do is 
this is uh this isn't too important this is only if you have full but basically if you're having a, if you're playing on full uh reflection mode and you drop below 40 fps it will automatically change to economy and as you can see with obc2 it will definitely drop below 40 fps at some point so this is why you're just better off playing on economy you can ignore this though it's not very important dynamic uh tile count reduction so this basically just reduces the uh Tile uh, yeah, again, this is only if you have your tile count set to higher than one, which most people won't have because it ridiculously increases loading time. So again, you can ignore this. These two, you shouldn't really touch because you shouldn't really be bumping your settings up that high, especially if you're watching this video because that probably means you have issues with lag in obviously too. Okay, and then this, you can use low res textures if you want, but it will just make your thing look terrible. So, uh, it makes repaints look terrible. Same with this, so avoid this. But if you have issues with the game, especially with uh, AI, and if the AI is causing your lags, sometimes if you're using, for instance, in any UK map, if you use anything to, uh, as an AI vehicle apart from the C400, or it tends to make your game laggy. So in that case, this might be something worth looking at as a last resort. If you turn these, if you click these two up, this will uh, reduce basically lag caused by the fact that there's too much AI and you're running out of memory. Also, while we're on the issue topic of memory, make sure you have the 4GB patch installed for OMC2. It is extremely important, especially if you're playing long sessions. The 4GB patch, if you don't know how to install it, let me know and I'll create a video tutorial on it. But it's very simple. You download it and then you choose OMC2. And you also have to make sure that every time you verify the game files, you reinstall the 4GB patch because every time you verify the game files, it gets rid of it. So bear that in mind. Uh, so max memory for uh, high res textures. Again, this might be a bit too high because bear in mind this is 400 megabytes out of 4 gigabytes. You might want to turn this down. Real time reflection size is 512 does it, but if you're again having issues, turn this to the left. You don't really want to go be, uh, below 128 though. Okay. Now, the next thing, sound. This doesn't really make an impact on the performance, so we're going to skip this AI traffic. This is another thing that's going to cause performance issues. I had my AI traffic turned up and it just caused ridiculous amounts of lag and a headache even though my system is beyond the recommended requirements for OMC2. So basically, what you want to do is you want to keep your unscheduled cards below 100 realistically because even on the highest end PCs, OMC2 is just so badly optimized that it's going to cause lag above 100. So make sure you keep this to 92 or below, uh, 100 or below. And again, if you're having issues with lag, move this to the left. Low traffic factor, again, this should not be above 100% and you need to keep moving it to the left until you find that sweet spot. A lot about a lot of this is about finding the speed, sweet spot. Parked cars, I wouldn't keep this above 50%. Human count, again, this I wouldn't keep above 100. This I wouldn't keep above, above 100 either. Scheduled buses, uh, some, uh, this you should probably turn down. Uh, so this basically just means the amount of AI buses around. AI buses tend to be the laggiest AI vehicles, so if you're having issues with laggy AI buses, turn this down as well. Schedule priority. What this means is basically um, there is uh, basically just means what kind of AI passenger vehicles load up. So if you have your schedule priority to one, this is only going to be I think drivable AI bus lines. Two will include trains, and then three or four will include trams as well. If you're having lag, you need to turn this straight to one, which is the essential. Only most important routes. So again, this will also get rid of like AI routes that are a bit pointless again. So basically, if you're having lag, because especially in certain maps, AI buses, if there's loads of them, they will cause lag, they will cause FPS drops. You need to swing this to the left and you bring, keep bringing it to the left until you find that your performance has improved to a uh, playable level. And then finally, uh, one of the things you probably should do is if you are having issues with lag, you want to re use a reduced AI list because. As I said, the AI buses cause a lot of lag in OMC2, they cause a lot of FPS drop, they cause a lot of increase, uh, a huge increase in waiting, loading times, and that's a lot to do with the AI list. So what you want to make sure is basically what this does is it means less AI buses are being used. However, the, the benefit of that is because less AI buses use, the less lag, and then the, it reduces the loading time, and that's pretty much it. So. Uh, that's uh, how you can reduce uh, lag in OMC2, how you can improve FPS, and how you can maximize the playability of what is a poorly optimized game. To reiterate, you have to follow the golden rule. To reduce lag, you have to move the setting bars to the left. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more OMC2 tutorials, videos, as well as other bus simulation and transport simulation games. If you have any questions, you can always comment down below or you can join the Discord server for more useful OMC2 links and help that kind of thing. 
and then obviously one thing to bear in mind is once you actually change the settings make sure you click OK and then it will ask sorry I'll just show you now for example you want to click OK sorry what no target frame rate no never mind so for instance if you change this um, sorry <laughs> obviously 2 is not doing what I wanted to do as you can see as per usual, but make sure once you change your settings, so for example in AI traffic, say we move this to 246, you're going to click OK. Ah, okay, so, sorry, yeah, do we not just, oh, sorry about that, but where is this gone? So basically, one thing to bear in mind is that if you change your settings, uh, if you change your settings, If you change the settings while mid game, it's gonna when you click OK, it's gonna ask give you a little message saying you want to save changes. Make sure you save the changes because obviously if you don't save the changes, it won't work. Another thing to bear in mind is that when you change the settings for OMC two, uh, when you change the settings for OMC two, the settings only get activated after the next time you open the game. So basically, you have to exit out of the game and restart it. But anyway, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. Until next time.